Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here again, bringing you another math video. And uh, again, this one, uh, the third of my Lawn of X videos. And this one is sort of a, very closely related to the previous two videos that I did. Uh, in the previous two videos, I looked at functions and using log, I was going to say log, logarithmic, log arithmetic differentiation of functions like f of x to the g of x. So an example of the one I did was x to the sine of x or something like that or x to the cos of x um and and logarithmic differentiation let me see if i can remember how to speak um is very useful for stuff like that because it makes you use your rules of logs and it makes it really easy you take the lon i use lon of both sides and it makes it really easy in doing so but that's not the best application of that i mean it's a really good one it's really useful and really there's no other way that i can think of doing that derivative Maybe there is. I'm sure there is. But uh, for, you know, me, uh, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Um, but there are, there's also another really great application of taking a lot of both sides or using logarithmic differentiation. And that's for these complicated, massive questions like this. So um, if I was going to do this question using, and you can see sort of here, you know, within the top here, I would have product rule. And, you know, I got division, so that's quotient rule. Within this, I'd have the chain rule, chain rule, uh, power rule, all this stuff in just this question alone. It is just daunting to look at. So the beauty of using logarithmic differentiation is we can take this what is complicated and break it up into easier parts where each individual part is not too bad. So um, I'm going to give this one a shot, and let's see if we can do it. So let's see. First step, as always, ln of both sides, my favorite. So ln, ln, and I'm gonna put a, worst thing about this question is you gotta rewrite this guy a lot. Or you know, re re rewrite all the pieces of it a lot. And then you get Q root of, and apologize for my writing here, not the best. Um, all right, so um, now I'm gonna use my rules of logs. So I'm gonna have to use a few of them. So if I look in the top here, one of your rules of logs is if you're multiplying something inside a log function, you can separate it into two logs and add. And remember your log, rules of log. If you know your rules of exponents, you know your rules of log. So when you're multiplying powers with the same base, you add the exponents. When you're multiplying things that are inside a log function, you add the logs. So I have ln y, and then I'm multiplying these, and this one is divided. This Actually, you know what? I'll break it up into division first. Let me do that. So ln of, and then I'll take this top part and I'll separate it from this one. So it's try to keep use lots of brackets for this stuff too, guys. So keep everything. Let me know like what's in what log does it belong to, or ln. And then I have this guy. So I'm doing the subtraction. So the rule for subtraction is if you're dividing stuff inside a log function, you subtract. I should have said that first, obviously. But you know it is Friday. All right. So now I subtracted them. So I got the pesky task of keep writing this guy down. So now within this guy, this is what I was talking about earlier. They're multiplied, so I'll separate them with a plus sign. I probably could have done that all in one step. And by all means, if you want to on a test, or I'm sure your, you know, your teacher, your professor wouldn't mind one little bit. I'm getting a uh, run out of space already. Hey, I don't know why I put these as practice. I just used the product excuse already, so I can't use it again, can I? All right, so um, now I've broken it up using my first two rules of log, which is adding and subtracting logs and multiplying and all that jazz. So now if I look in here, I got some exponents. So um, I have an exponent here of 2. Now recognize this 2 I can't do anything with because that is a 2, by the way. Um, it's not on the whole thing. It's just on the x squared, and there's still that minus 4 part that's included. Now this is a cube root, so we all know a cube root is the same as, we hopefully we all know, is 1 over 3. But if you didn't know before, now you do. So a cube root is the same as the 1 over 3, so really that's all to the 1 over 3. So ln of y is equal to, and the rule is, of course, these exponents come in and pop, plop right out in front as coefficients. So once where there was a chain rule, now there is no longer a chain rule. But there still remains a chain rule. This one doesn't change. 
And this one, since that's exponent 1 over 3, there's a 1 over 3 here on the outside. Ln of x squared plus 4, just like that. So now we have the arduous task of taking the derivative of all this stuff. So each individual derivative is not that hard. Like, um, It's way easier than if you had to take the derivative of this big old complicated thing. So... Do I have this wrote down right? Okay, I do. All right, so. Um, all right, let's give it a shot. So, um, the derivative of ln of y is 1 over y times y prime. Actually, you know what? I'm going to delete that for one second because I am going to follow my advice that I give you guys. You, oh, crap. All right. Prices averted, people. Um... I always follow this advice, and I tell my students, and I preach it. Um, you need to take the derivative of both sides. So I sh should write it out. And here we go. Because, again, the objective of this is, you know, I'm not showing you this because, you know, you just, you know, on a Friday night you're bored. You're trying to get marks on a test. So um, if you wanted to protect yourself against all things, you want to show what you know. And the best way to show what you know is include any step you think is relevant. And this is an important step. So the first big objective is passed. We've got it broken up. But now the next objective is to take the derivative. Show your professor that you know that at this point you need to take the derivative. That's worth marks. Whereas I just jumped into some random step and um, he might get, you know, depending on your professor, he might be a little peeved. All right, so um, we have to take each of these individual derivatives. So this is where my, my uh, you know, my little rule that I put in some of my other videos there comes in handy. So here it is up here. D over D of X of ln of U is equal to 1 over U. That's an equal sign. Believe it. 1 over U. That's not a u, that's a y, obviously. 1 over u times u prime. So um, this makes this really, really easy because the derivatives inside of these things are pretty straightforward. So the derivative of 2 ln of um, x minus 2. So one of the things that I've seen in the number of years tutoring calculus teaching it um, is for whatever reason, you know, people just want to use the chain rule, uh, the, uh, the power rule. Speak English, Barnes. Speak English. Uh, the product rule for this two times, because you see two times ln of x minus two. So you don't need to use the product rule. Two is not really. It is a function, of course, because you can graph it and all that stuff. But it, it's just a constant. That's all it is. So the derivative of two, you don't need to worry about it. What we're going to do is we're going to worry about the derivative of ln of x minus two and times it by 2. So 2 times ln of x minus 2. So use this rule. So my u is x minus 2. So 1 over x minus 2 times the derivative of what's ever in here. So the derivative of this guy is just 1. So I'm not going to write it. Plus, then we'll do the same thing. 1 over x squared minus 4 times the derivative of this guy, which is just derivative of 2x, or x squared is 2x, and then minus 1 over 3. The derivative of this guy is um, 1 over x to the 4 plus, x squared plus 4 times 2x. And um, now what we can do is we can just simplify a little bit, not much, but... Um, Another step I need to make, and I don't want to do too much writing here. I want to plop this y out in front, so I end up with y prime is equal to um, 1, or sorry, y, which I know what it is, is that big old complicated mess up top there. So keep that in mind. Um, and that's this, 2 over x minus 2 plus 2 x over x squared minus 4 minus 2x 
all over 3x squared plus 4. So that's, you know, that's the hard part done. So what we can do now is I'm going to take that y that I originally had there, and I'm not going to remember that from the top of my head, of course, and sub it back in to that spot right there for y prime. So it was x squared minus 2 squared. I see a mistake on me. Fudgical. Fudgical. All right. Um, x minus 2. And then this should be x cubed, but of course it isn't because I really it doesn't matter. Come on, people, give me a break. Over this guy, x squared plus 1. This is like a, a train wreck in motion, isn't it, people? And here we go. Well, I tried my best. So there it is. So the mistake that I made, guys, wasn't really that big of a deal. Um, that should be a 2. So other than that, really, it's not really that big of a deal. The only thing that would change is I would have a slightly different derivative on the outside here. That would be x cubed, so it would be 3x squared instead of 2x, which really doesn't change anything whatsoever. So... Um, other than that, I apologize if anybody started the question and then watched this and they said, well, I did a different question. But uh, the only difference would be is you would have a 3x squared right in this spot. So that would be 3x squared. So I apologize if you um, did that. So really, guys, the message is still the same. You need to take the line of both sides when you get big, complicated expressions like this or equations like this that you need to find a derivative of. Um, it is not easy. It comes with practice. You need to know a lot. You need to rely on lots of things that you learned in the past, which is oftentimes one of the most difficult things um, in calculus is relying on the things that we've done before. So um, best of luck to you, and hopefully um, everything works out. Good luck, and I'll see you guys in class, I guess. Take it easy.